Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Uh, today I am going to be doing a little book haul. Um, and these are books that I bought back in September. And I know we're like almost done with October. So it's like, why are you going to do a book haul for September? But like book hauls are fun no matter how late they are. So you know why not and I feel like I have some really good books to show um so yeah that's what I'm gonna do today is I'm gonna show you guys my books and talk about them a little bit I do have 10 books so it's not the worst <laughs> like I definitely I think it's like a reasonable number to buy although like September was like a huge <laughs> reading slump for me I only read like four or five books which is actually my normal but like lately I've been reading more. Um, but yeah, so maybe I'm just going back down to my usual, who knows? But yeah, without any more talking, let's just go ahead and get right into it. So I do have these broken up into pretty much like categories of where I got them. So the first category I have are the books that I got from Book of the Month. Um, and I'm not affiliated with them in any way. I know there's a lot of booktubers that are. Um, but I bought these with my own money and I just want to say I really enjoy book of the month um, You get a book every month a new release hardcover back for $15 and then you can get add-ons Like two add-ons for like $10 each which is like a crazy deal I honestly do it for the add-ons because getting a $10 hardback book is like It's amazing. So yeah I really like book of the month and honestly I think they're like the only new books that I buy because I've just been getting a lot of my books like secondhand or used lately so um yeah so the first book that I got from book of the month this was my pick for the month was Transcendent Kingdom by uh, Gayasi I hope I said that correctly and like can we just look at this cover like this is so pretty like honestly i was really drawn to the cover um i mean this the synopsis and uh, all that sounds pretty good too but like it's just so beautiful and like it even goes around to the back with that pink and black and then like the gold lettering like the foiling gold that's just really pretty but this is about gifty who is a six-year phd candidate and she is studying like the neurology in rats when it comes to like reward seeking behaviors when it comes to addiction and depression. Um, a lot of like the members of her family suffer from depression or like suicide or um, like addiction. And she's wanting to figure out like the scientific reasoning behind all of this suffering that she sees around her. And um, that just sounds like really interesting to me. Um, I'm, I'm definitely like a huge advocate for like mental health and illness uh, like awareness and um especially i'm curious to see if we're actually gonna like see some scientific facts about that like the reasoning behind that i guess in this um but yeah i'm super excited to read this i mean i'm excited about all of these books but i'm gonna keep saying it but um yeah this seems really cool and i think there's like some faith and um uh, like spirituality and race is probably addressed in this and there because they're in the deep south so uh yeah we're definitely going to see some like race issues in here but yeah this is my first book that i got from book of the month so the second book that i got from book of the month and this was one of my add-ons so i only got this for ten dollars and that is the night swim by megan golden so i read like very little bit of this like i'm only I mean, I'm gonna restart it, but yeah, I've, I got to like page 30 in this. Um, but I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna put it down and like read it some other time. Um, but this follows a girl named Rachel and she has a true crime podcast. And she is going to this like huge trial that's gonna get like national coverage. And her like new season of her podcast is going to be following that trial. And um, she gets like a letter from like a fan of the podcast and saying like you know you gotta help me figure out um like the death of my sister because I'm pretty sure like she was murdered and it's expected that that murder is going to be at this huge trial and so 
that's all I know about this. Um, but um, so yeah, I all I all I needed to know was true crime podcast, and it was like I'm hooked. I'm in. I want this. Yeah, so I'm excited to read this. The second add-on that I got for Book of the Month was The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo by Taylor Jenkins Reid. And I've been wanting to get this for a while. Um, so <laughs> I, the reason why I got it from Book of the Month is because I really prefer like just the hardcover design of The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. I don't really care for the paperback cover, um, but I definitely like just, yeah, I like the hardcover um design and this was actually the cheapest option to get it and that's why i'm saying like book of the month is great because you get like hard covers for ten dollars like you can't beat that but yeah so i yeah so it was the cheapest option so i went with it through book of the month i have read um daisy jones and the six so i have i do have some experience with her writing and I've heard really good things about this as well. So I don't know too much about this. I do know it's gonna follow, of course, Evelyn Hugo, and she's like a Hollywood star, I think. And um, she decides to give an interview to this pretty much this unknown reporter um, about her life and all of that. And like the reporter's like, why me? He's like, why did you pick me? But there's a reason and um i'm curious if it's gonna be anything like the daisy jones and the six ending like if you've read that you know what i'm talking about about with the reporter in that one i'm curious if it's gonna be like a similar situation here um but yeah that's evelyn hugo and i i do really want to get to this pretty soon so that is it for my book of the month category i'm gonna go into my books that i've thrifted next uh, i got all of these from mercari because you know me i love shopping on mercari especially for books um and actually like if you don't have book of the month a good way of getting book of the month like editions is actually through mercari um since i have book of the month already i I'm like super picky with the pricings of the book of the month editions on Mercari because um, like a lot of people will try and sell them for like $25 and like it may be cheaper than like the hardcover but since I already have book of the month and I can get it for $10 I get them I will only like spend like 11 or $10 on them um, and so it's basically just books that I don't want to wait another month to get or um, cause you only get three books in book of the month. So yeah. So the first few ones are actually book of the month editions that I bought off of Macari. So the first book that I have for Macari that is also book of the month is, uh, The Bride Test by Helen Huang. And I've heard absolutely amazing things about this book as well as the Kiss Quotient. Um, I do have, I do want to get the Kiss, Kiss Quotient in the Book of the Month edition as well, just because now I have it in this one. Even though I, I, and it's, I'm not like a hardback snob. I don't care if it's hardback or paperback. Um, usually it'll depend like on the cover, if the covers are different or just like where I can get the best deal. Um, and usually I prefer like my romances and paperbacks because it's just so much more comfy. But I do have Kiss Quotient. I got it for free, I think, on my Kindle. Um, but I do want to get the book of the month edition as well. So I'm sure we all know like the basis, I guess, of what this book is about, but this is about Kai and he is autistic. So he doesn't really feel like big emotions, like grief or love. And, um, I think his mother is like worried about that. And so she goes to Vietnam and gets him a mail order bride and, uh, brings her back to the States. So the girl that, uh, is to his his bride to be is Esme and she jumps at the opportunity to uh go to America and she tries to seduce him and it's like the synopsis said that it's like working on herself so she's starting to fall for him but she's worried that he isn't really falling for her um but yeah I I've just heard so many good things about this and Kiss Quotient I don't know which one I want to read first. I think Kiss Quotient came first, right? And then Bride Test? I could be wrong. But um, either way, I mean, it doesn't matter like which order you read them, I don't think. 
but I am really excited to read this. I've been really looking forward to getting this. And so when I saw it like super cheap on Macari, I think it was probably like 10 or 11. I think I bundled it with the next book that I'm going to show. And so I was able to get it for like a cheaper price. Um, yeah, so the next book that I got is Little Fires Everywhere by Celeste Sning. I know I'm going to like say these names wrong, so, but um, hopefully I was somewhat close. And this is another popular book that a lot of people know about, and it's like a TV series now, or like a limited show, something like that. I haven't seen it because like, I want to read the book first, you know? So I don't know too much about this book. What a surprise there, but I do know it takes like place in like a suburb and it follows either like two families or like multiple families. I don't know, but it's about this pair. Uh, is it Mia or Maya and Elena or Alina? Um, and they are, they become like fast friends and like their children and everyone else is like really interested in their relationship, I guess. Um, but one of them has like a bunch of secrets and yeah, is there going to be a fire in this? Because it says fire in the title. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, <laughs> I know this is like a super popular book, so that's why I kind of want to read it, you know, but I'm not going to let that like cloud me, you know, I'm not going to go in with high expectations. So second part of that book of the month where I got from Akari, these next few books I also got from Akari, but they they're just regular books. So since like I said before, I'm really into true crime. So this next book I have is Savage Appetites, uh, Four True Stories of Women, Crime and Obsession by Rachel Monroe. And so this obviously has like four stories in this and I, I, I don't know too much about any of the stories, um, but it kind of explores, I'm pretty sure, like why mostly women are drawn to true crime. And it explores that. I think there's like a young girl who is like a family of one of like Manson's victims. Um, it explores like a fangirl of a Columbine shooter or shooting um, and just like the obsessions. I don't know, but I, I really like true crime. And just, so yeah, I'm super interested in this. I think this is like my first book of actual true crime. I do have another one in here. Or is that for next month? That's for next month. <laughs> That's for, I have another true crime book that it'll be in my October book haul. Just a little, just a little hint, a little spoiler there. But this is officially my first true crime book, unless you count the Stay Sexy and Don't Get Murdered How To Guide, which is just a memoir. So it's not really true crime, even though it's about true crime podcast, but Anyway, I'm rambling, but I'm, I'm really happy to have this and especially like diving into learning why women are so drawn to crime or like true crime and learning about it and also being like recoiled by it because I think it does go into that as well. Um, because I do think that's true. It's mostly women that are into true crime. So yeah, the next book I got is Long Way Down by Jason Reynolds and I... I'm really excited about having or owning this book. Um, it is like written in verse, if you didn't know. This is another really popular book. And I I wanted to have like an actual physical copy, but I would probably listen to the audiobook just because I like listening to books written in verse on um, audiobook. Uh, but this is about a guy, yeah, Will. This is about Will and his brother was shot dead. And this book takes place of, with Will in an elevator and like as he's going down the elevator he's like debating whether he's gonna kill like the murderer. He has a gun, something like that, and like each floor he's like, I don't know if it's like people get on or if it's like his mind, you know, is like going through something new on each floor. But either way, like it's super intriguing and um... I'm really excited to have this and to listen to it. The next book I have is one I actually started listening to last night and 
I was super excited to get this one and it is Scrappy Little Nobody uh, by Anna Kendrick. So this is obviously a memoir of Anna Kendrick's. And again, I got this off of Macari and it's super cool because it is like a Target exclusive, but it's also a signed exclusive. So it does have her signature in it. And I just love like the end papers here. They're like super pretty. Like, look at that. It's so nice. You know, like I said, I did start listening to this last night and uh, I just really love Anna Kendrick. I haven't seen like all of her works, but the works and like movies and shows and stuff that I have seen her in, I've really enjoyed. I just, I really love the way she presents herself and just how she, like her acting. And she just seems like very sassy and, uh, and the little bit that I've read in this, I haven't read much. I think I pretty much just read the introduction. Uh, you can already see that same sassiness in this. And uh, I think, so it's just like her memoir about her life and um, how she was like a weird kid. And like, I totally relate to that. And I think I'm going to really enjoy this because like, like I said, I love Anna Kendrick. And so when I saw this on Macari and I saw that it was a signed edition, I was like, I need it. It was also super cheap. And so after I bought it, the seller messaged me. She was like, oh, I didn't realize it was this was a signed copy. And I'm like, oh, me either. <laughs> Even though I totally did. She's like, oh, you got lucky then. Um, but yeah, so I got this for super cheap considering it's a signed copy, signed edition. So yeah, I'm reading it. I'm not very far. And um yeah, I can't, I don't know how many more times I can say I'm excited. I'm super excited about this one. And this is what I'm currently reading. So there you go. And this next book I have actually already read. And if you watched my first recent reads, it is in there. And that is Illuminé by uh, Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And I'm not like super, I'm wanting to get more into, into sci-fi. Um, this was kind of, this wasn't my introduction to sci-fi. But this is like the second series of young adult sci-fi I've read. I guess you could say. The first one was Contagion, which I have back there, which I, I recommend too. Um, yeah, I really enjoyed Illumine. Um, I wasn't planning on getting this, but someone had mentioned that I should read it. And I just like looked on Amazon. Oh yeah, by the way, this is my book. This is the only book I got from Amazon. Um, so this is the actually... Besides those first three book of the month books, this is the only other book that I bought like brand new. And um, it was on cheap. It was on cheap. It was on sale for super cheap. Uh, I think it's like normally $12. I got it for six. So it was 50% off. And I was like, I can't just let it pass on by. I got to get it, you know? And I, I've been wanting to read it. I just wasn't planning on picking it up. But because it's just, it's full, it's multimedia. Like the entire book is multimedia and that is so fascinating to me. I love books that have multimedia and I knew this book had it but I didn't know that the entire book was multimedia and so when I got this and like I opened it up and I was like it's so cool and um if you want to know my like more in-depth thoughts, I'd recommend watching my recent reads. I'll I'll try to link it down below. It was the last book in there if you just want to skip to the end. But this is about these exes, Katie and Ezra. And right after it's like literally right after they break up on their their home planet. Or I don't know if it's their home planet, but it's the planet that they're on. Um it gets attacked and these rival like companies these like military companies i think i don't know it's it's, it's been like a month since i read this like i said if you want to know like actual reviews you should just go watch that video but um and so they're having to like rely on each other to figure out what's going on because of course no one none of the leaders are telling them what's going on there's like a plague that's like infecting some of the passengers there's like the, their main AI like goes rogue it like develops its own thoughts and feelings and it's starting to just do whatever it wants and so yeah this is just a really good book I really enjoyed it so yeah 
I recommend this. Uh, this is a series. There are two more books. The second one's Gemini. Gemina? Gemina, not Gemini. <laughs> uh, and I do want to get that. I do want to read the rest of the series. I just, when? When am I going to read it? I don't know. Hopefully soon. But maybe if it goes on sale. That'll, that'll get me to buy it, right? <laughs> but yeah. This is Illumine, part of the Illumine Files. That's the series. So the final book I have, I actually got off of eBay and um, it's kind of like The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo. Um, like I said, I have read Daisy Jones and the Six. I listened to the audiobook um, through my library and I loved it. I enjoyed it so much that I wanted to have like an actual physical copy of it. Um, but I didn't really care for like the US edition and like with other like booktubers videos I'd seen I would see like the beautiful like UK cover um, book and it would be like displayed and I was like that's so pretty I want it <laughs> like I don't want because I could have just gotten Daisy Jones and the Six off of book of the month because they do have it on there but it's just the plain cover and that's not what I want and so I started looking I looked on like Macari, I went on to like the actual UK Amazon site, I was going to try and get a friend to buy it for me, all of that, but it was just going to be too expensive. I think like on Macari people were trying to sell the UK cover, the UK edition, for like $40. And it's like, like I want it, but I don't want it that badly. So I went on eBay and I found it. I found this, I found this for $14. And how much is this normally? So let's say, well, it's like twelve ninety nine pounds. Um, so yeah, this is definitely worth it than forty dollars. Um, and I I love it. I love this edition. It did take a really long time to get here. I think it took like two weeks. It took me forever to even ship it out. And I was like, did I get scammed? But um, it, then it got shipped out. It's like okay, I guess I didn't get scammed. But then. It took like two weeks to get here but i'm super glad to have this in my collection it's just it's so pretty like this uk cover this uk edition it's just it's beautiful yeah. so if you don't know this follows daisy jones and the six it's a band and um this entire book is told like an in interview format that's why if you do plan on like picking this up, I really recommend the audiobook. It's like fully voice acted and so like each character has a different uh, voice actor and it's just a really refreshing way to read this because I've I've heard people like ha that have read actually read this like physically from the book it's not as enjoyable so if you're really wanting to have like that peak enjoyable time just get it like the audiobook on like Libby that's how I got it. I yeah, I uh, borrowed it on Libby, and um, and then that's when I decided I wanted the actual book. I don't know if I'll actually read the book, but you know, I might because just to see. But it's also like I don't want to ruin that experience I had. So I don't know. Do you guys think I should read the book? Let me know. Or did you guys? Which one did you guys enjoy more? Did you enjoy Daisy Jones and the Six or Evelyn Hugo? Which one's better? I also have. Uh, another one of Taylor Jenkins reads or her books on my Kindle. It's like a romance, like an adult romance, I think. But I don't remember what it's called. But that doesn't matter because I, I got that months ago. I think I got it for like a dollar. <laughs> I was like, oh, Taylor Jenkins reads. I know that name. Let me get it. Um, but yeah, this is this is a really good book. And like I said, it's about Daisy Jones and the Six, and pretty much it's an interview that follows like the start to beginning and like the relationships and yeah this was a really good book I've read it I loved it I think I gave it five stars probably isn't a full five stars probably more like a four like five rounded but yeah <laughs> this is a good one that is all of the books that I bought in September it was 10 books um, it, it seemed like a lot because I had it like piled up on my shelf and uh, I was like oh that's a lot of books let's not let's not do that especially because I'm not reading that much so I'm hoping 
for October. Not buying that many. Spoiler alert, I kind of am. <laughs> And I've only read two books in October so far, so just a little, just a little glimpse at what that is, but Scrappy Little No Bite is the third book that I'm reading in October now. Um, but yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, have you read any of these books that I showed? If you have, let me know down below in the comments your thoughts on them, if you like them, if you didn't, or like some other books that you guys recommend me get because... I like to buy books. That's why I spend my my paycheck on. <laughs> so uh, yeah, I'm I want to do these like monthly just to show like my book hauls, even if it's only like a few books, um, even if it's only like the book of the month books um, that I get. I would like to show them because I I really enjoy watching book hauls. Um, so I feel like a lot of people enjoy watching them, even though mine's probably just a bunch of nonsense and mumbling but I enjoy it and I enjoy filming it and showing these books because it's like I'm not gonna get to them anytime soon most likely at least some I've read I've read one of these books I've attempted another one and I am currently reading one of them so I guess you could say I'm doing well I don't know again I'm mumbling and rambling but yeah if you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you would like and i'm going to have all of my socials down below and i hope i see you guys in the next one but until then please be kind to yourselves you deserve it and i will catch you guys next time bye